hi guys welcome to my channel today I am gonna be showing you guys how I make spinach so I got all the ingredients over here so uh, I have my uh, fresh ingredients here and those are also my fresh ingredients and I have my spices over here so we're gonna be starting from here and with this uh, teaspoon which is uh, 5 ml I measured all the ingredients for the spices so here we have uh, crushed red chilies if you guys don't like spices just leave it out and add some black pepper it's one teaspoon I have some salt it's also one teaspoon and I have some paprika powder it's one teaspoon as well uh, salt uh, you guys have to go ahead and you know taste it and check it as much as you guys need it Some people like a little bit salty some people mild uh, I personally like it a little bit on the mild kind of like not too salty kind of spinach So for me, it's one teaspoon But you guys can if you guys like a little bit salty just go ahead and add a half teaspoon uh, With it additional and then that will give you that salty kind of spinach now here I have some turmeric powder uh, and it's also one teaspoon. I have some dry coriander, one teaspoon. Some cumin seeds, one teaspoon. This dry coriander is just kind of like, as you guys can see, flaky. It's not um, really powdered. So that's the way I like it. If you guys like to powder it and don't like to taste it uh, while you're eating your spinach, you guys can use the powder form. Uh, here I have ginger and garlic paste, two tablespoon. I have oil, uh, it's about half cup of oil. I have one medium sized onion, I just sliced it like that. Uh, and I have four tomatoes. Uh, these tomatoes are from our garden. So these are, I just, uh, they were frozen, so I just got them out of the freezer and under the hot water, I just rinsed the peel off. So they're ready to use and they're also uh, really good for the paste and puree kind of thing. Um, here I have uh, for garnishing green coriander if you guys instead of green coriander like something else you guys can use that uh, and I have some green uh, onion, uh, some green chilies uh, they're also from the garden um, so they're not spicy at all uh, three medium size green chilies so um, yeah this is for garnishing but you guys can't see that much on top of the spinach so uh, it depends on everybody taste if you guys don't like things some of the things you guys can definitely leave it off leave it out um, Here I have spinach and this is the frozen one. That's what Available was available. These are like the nuggets kind of so this was available right now. I used two packs of these uh, So yeah, it's just I used two packs I already a little bit defrosted in uh, the microwave and I'm just gonna show you guys how I cook all of these things and I also have my spoon and my pot over there so let's go through the rest of the recipe so here I have my pot ready you just turn on your heat uh, I just turn on my heat uh, in the beginning just keep your flame on high and then slowly reduce it. First of all, we're gonna add our oil. So the oil goes in here. And again, it's just around half cup. Now we're gonna wait for a little bit for the oil to just heat up and then we're gonna add our onions or you can just straight throw the onions in there and we're gonna cook them until they are just uh, like a little bit golden kind of so we're not gonna cook them really too much but just a little bit uh, so I'll show you when my onions are golden brown so just give it a stir and just leave them on a high on the high heat um, for cooking and I'll show you when they're ready. So that's how your onions uh, are gonna look like when they start cooking. So just saute your onions for uh, about two to three minutes and then we're gonna add ginger and garlic paste. So I turn my flame uh, to, me, uh, to minimum and right now as you guys can see our onions are uh, goldenish kind of a little bit brown uh, from the edges 
this is the time when we are gonna add our ginger garlic paste so just cook it a little bit um, I don't like to cook my ginger and garlic too much because then they tend to lose their flavor but just cook it for a little bit um, so then they don't have that raw kind of flavor after ginger and garlic we're gonna add all our tomatoes And now we're gonna cover them. The tomatoes are gonna release water. And on a medium flame, on a medium heat, uh, we're gonna cook it for about five minutes. And after five minutes, I'll show you how do they look like. So after exactly five minutes, uh, you guys can see that the onions are, the tomatoes are all like mushed in there and it releases a little bit of water but as you guys can see it's just it's just like a paste so I personally don't like uh, tasting peels and uh, my kids they don't like it either so we don't like tasting like the tomato peels or just getting the tomato peels out of uh, our food so that's a really good way to just freeze the tomatoes for a little bit and just rinse it under the hot water and you can easily just peel them off and even um, we, grow, we grew some tomatoes in our garden and uh, that was a really good thing. It was just we all we had to do is just throw them in the freezer and uh, they're ready for everything like a puree or if you want to just make a tomato paste or in, in any kind of soup or anything they're perfect for them um, so our tomatoes are ready they're all melted in now it's time for the spices so here is the the turmeric dry coriander and the cumin and paprika salt and crushed red chilies they're all gonna go in there together now on a medium heat you just cook them for two three more minutes and the next step is adding the spinach So then I'll show you when I add the spinach. So here are our tomatoes, spices, and onions, everything well combined. Uh, here is a tip, you know, if you want to know if your uh, all your ingredients are really well cooked. Uh, that's how you, you would know that in the middle if you remove your, your tomatoes, as you guys can see, it releases the oil. You can see that oil uh, peeking through and that's how you know that they all the spices and everything is well combined and cooked through so this is the time when we add our um, spinach so here I am gonna turn my flame to medium-high and as you guys can see I add all my spinach in here uh, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of water um, just I would say less than half cup uh, so my spinach won't get s uh, stick to the bottom and I will let this cook for about 10 minutes and after 10 minutes I'll show you how do they look like and with that being said whatever spinach you guys have if it's fresh if it's uh, the frozen one if you have these nuggets kind of whatever's convenient for you you guys can go ahead and use those uh, you don't have to use 
the specific kind of this spinach uh, but the good spinach you use and the fresh spinach you use uh, that have of course much better taste than this so if you if the fresh spinach is available go ahead and use those so i'll show you guys after 10 minutes how do they look like so as after uh, around eight minutes as you guys can see the spinach releases all this water so it depends on you now how do you like your spinach you you want to cook it a little bit more i personally like to cook it like for about uh, 10 to 15 more minutes um uh, not sorry 10 to 15 more minutes so around five more minutes so it's like uh this like too much water is dissolved by it so um i'll show you guys after around five to six minutes how my spinach is gonna look like i am gonna further like a little bit cook it um for uh, around five more minutes and then this is the time when i personally check all the spices if i want it more spicy or salty whatever so go ahead check that and uh whatever taste you like like if you like it on the spicy side or on the salty side uh, so I'm gonna cook it for around five more minutes on medium flame and then I'll show you the end results Stay tuned. So my spinach is all ready. This is the time when I add the greens green coriander and the green chilies So you guys can go ahead and add that So I added my green chilies and green coriander in uh, my spinach and my spinach seems to be exactly how I like it. Um, so I'm going to be serving it a little bit and showing you guys how it looks like. So I am done cooking this and as you guys can see it dissolved all the water uh, and there's uh, no watery stuff left and that's exactly when I stopped cooking them. Um, so uh, it's a perfect side dish with meatloaf or uh, you know barbecue chicken or anything like that. Uh, my kids love to eat them like this um, with the bread. Uh, so today I'm serving it like this with the bread because yesterday we had meat so it's a it's a kind of a transition day from meat and all uh, you know uh, chicken and meat and those stuff uh, so if you guys haven't please subscribe to my channel I hope you guys might like my video uh, and uh, hit the notification button don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later bye